How's it going, everybody? Vince here. Cyberpunk 2077 is a game that has me hyped like no games have been able to do recently. The last game I was this hyped for was GTA V. There's few developers that make games these days that deliver above and beyond what you could have imagined was possible. These games set new standards, new expectations, bring fresh life to the gaming industry. One of the best developers to continuously push the bar is Rockstar Games. I absolutely love the work they do, from telling stories of gangs in the fictional city of Los Santos to the unforgiven world of Red Dead Redemption. The quality Rockstar has always delivered is outstanding. In a recent conference call, CEO of CD Projekt Red, Adam Kaczynski, was asked about his thoughts on the recent release of Red Dead Redemption 2. He responded by saying the following, that game is excellent, by the way. We are rooting for it. Rave reviews. Excellent sales. What does this teach us? Well, it teaches that we need to publish extraordinary games, and that's exactly what we're planning. His words of praise for Rockstar's latest release is, first of all, awesome, that he acknowledges how impressive that game is. He goes on to say that we want to release Cyberpunk in a state as refined as Red Dead Redemption 2. This leaves me to believe that not only will this game impress everyone, it will go above and beyond and deliver in a world so immersive and detailed it will set the bar higher, much like Red Dead Redemption 2 has recently. The simple fact that they want to deliver an experience as good as a Rockstar release is a very good thing for us gamers. With the release of repetitive titles every single year, more games set in the bar higher will force publishers to release better titles, and hopefully it'll lead to developers and publishers to keep setting the bar higher put time into games that truly need more times to go from good to great. When Rockstar takes their time to build an amazing world, they absolutely steal the show and are greatly rewarded for their efforts. They continuously set new records in sales, oftentimes beating their own records. The more developers aiming for quality and willing to put the time in to do so, the better. The gameplay so far of Cyberpunk 2077 looks amazing. When I watched it, 30 minutes felt like 10, and I left wanting more. Of course, pre-release gameplay doesn't always live up to the final release. I'm looking at you, Ubisoft. I like to try to stay away from the whole hype train circus to avoid getting disappointed with dumbed-down graphics or completely different gameplay than what was shown pre-release. These statements made in this recent conference call, however, lead me to believe I won't be disappointed, and they will deliver what they've shown thus far. And if that's the case, I can definitely add this developer to my absolutely must-buy games. I've used Rockstar as an example a lot in this video, and that's because in my opinion nobody delivers games at their level. There's great releases every year, but they're never on Rockstar's level. If you could take anything away from this is that we need publishers and developers to push towards making amazing games versus rushing them out. And I believe there's been a push to criticize games that release in an absolute unfinished state. Fallout 76 as an example. There's no excuse for it. When you're a developer as big as Bethesda, that's unexcusable. And they're paying for that mistake. Use that as an example of what not to do. Gamers these days want quality over quantity. New releases should aim to beat their predecessors and deliver new and engaging gameplay. Otherwise they fall into endless cash grab because why change anything when it'll sell anyway mentality needs to stop. Those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to stay tuned here for new info on Cyberpunk and more. If you guys liked the video, hit that like. If not, hit the dislike and I will catch you in the next one.